Welcome back to Taylor Cooks. We've got mince meat, we've got onions, we've got potatoes. Let's make a midweek treat. Yes, keep the music. dish really is that it can be made midweek, it can be made beforehand, it can be kept in the freezer or in the fridge, taken out and cooked to will or it can, can be just cooked to the weekend. So it's the mince that you've had before which uh, I did on a, a, previous, uh, a previous episode and it's that mince which is so versatile which means that you can also make your pasties out of it and the other things that you know you want to go along with it, your pies and the like. So it's like a stock mince. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to put laid potatoes in. So it's exactly the same really as if you're making a cottage pie except I'm not going to use the mash I'm going to use the potatoes and thinly slice them uh, and stick them on top uh, in a layer and it's going to be absolutely fantastic it really will be so stick with me and I'll show you how we do it so let's get a few of these things out of the way um, some onions that are going to be there there are potatoes which I'm going to uh, peel and part boil we've got our mince which we'll deal with uh, in a second uh, but first of all let's get the pressure cooker on or at least get the pressure cooker ready. There we are. And um, what I'll do first of all is I'll put the mince in to cook. We're going to cook it and then we're going to strain it to get rid of any uh, fat that's come through. This is 18% fat, so it should taste really nice. I'll show you how to make the gravy, which goes with it. But uh, like I said, first things first, let's get the mince in and let's get it cooking. While the mince is browning, I'll just uh, put these on to part boil. We'll take them off when they're part boiled, let them cool a tiny bit, then it doesn't burn your fingers, and then we'll slice these and we'll layer uh, the whole container up with them and it'll taste wonderful. A little bit of butter on, salt and pepper uh, in the oven and it'll be great. Wait till you see how this turns out. Okay, what I want to do is to strain and get all the whatever's been released out of here, which I don't want. Put that back on. Move that to one side. And I'm going to put the onions in. I'm going to get those in and get those cooking. Fancy a few, a few mushrooms as well. So these haven't been used and they and they need using. So the onions are on. Throw some mushrooms in. Let's get the the mince back in. And that's all the stuff that I don't want. Ooh, look at that. That is what I don't want. The gravy mix, which is really quick. A couple of stock cubes. A little bit of tomato. A little bit of plum sauce, which is what I uh, showed you last time. Plum sauce. Just a little bit. That's all we need. A bit of soy sauce. And uh, hello, Mrs. Taylor. Hello. And a spoon of French mustard. There we are. That goes in. We need some water. So that's our gravy mix, give it a stir. Get our gravy boys in. A bit more water. 
to top it up. And that is it for about 35, 40 minutes. Okay, so I'll just drop the steam on this and there's a really easy way to drop the steam on this and if you just turn it see how much steam comes out okay lid off So like I said to you before, don't worry about making too much of this because you've got it for other projects. A little bit of cornflour starch in water. Give it a quick stir. And put it back on the heat just to come back up. So these are our boiled potatoes from before. If you've any of these left over from the weekend, works just, just exactly the same as what I'm doing now. So all I'm doing is slicing them thinly and then I'm going to layer them on the top all the way around. Take some Take some butter, dab it on top. In the oven, let's see how it turns out, it's gonna be amazing. 